I think I look pretty. I got my glove, she got her glove, she got her glove, and we're going to play baseball. Baseball? Yeah. Baseball. Yeah, pretty much. I failed. Dog poop in the yard. Why don't you go get a bag and clean it up, even though I'm closer to the house? <laughs> that was a girly yell. No! Uh-huh. <laughs> Corey is the victor. Aaron is the loser. Corey has long arms. Nice. <laughs> and now my camera is a softball. Corey, catch. Yeah. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> 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 Hi. Jill has lost the ball. I just lose it. You lost it. I don't know where it is. Go ahead. Oh. Sorry, babe. What? Then goes down. Okay. Ah. What are you filming? Now it's time for the question of the week with two D's, a C, oh no, wait, wait, an H, and a C. Let me do that again. Okay, it's time for the <laughs> it's time for the question of the week with two D's, me, Jillian, one H, Corey, and one C, you. The question of the week is, what is your opinion on interdimensional transportational travel? Go. C. Is that your final answer? C. Excellent. Your turn. H. Hmm. I see a pattern here. Your turn! M. Continue. M. Well, I think it's quite obvious that interdimensional travel is a wonderful asset to the rest of our nation, especially if we wish to not go into a recession again. <laughs> because this is a transportation, this is a transmission to you from the year 30,000 years. Mm. Quite. Indeed. Quite. Quite. Bully! She never played along. Thank you and good night. Aaron, epic table flat.
You have a beautiful eye. Oh. Wait, who got kicked out? Meredith. Mm-mm. Uh, Michelle. How many this week at to She's frozen in place. In teaching. Tiggo, 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 tiggo. Nothing. She's dead. She's dead. <laughs> More like she's going to kill me.